I started creating stuff since I was a child. I, I love doing things a lot like that. I remember back then when I was small, we do all of these police and thief play. So then I always want my own gun to look like a real gun, a real time gun. And at a point, I was able to do something. I painted it black. It looks like a gun and it ejected a bullet, something like a bullet. So my mom found out then she was like, no, she doesn't want this. So she had to look for a way to stop me doing stuff like that. She bought a game for me, Game Boy then, not knowing that she was the one that foiled everything. Buying me a Game Boy. I want to know what is happening inside that Game Boy. Who is powering the gun? What is making everything move like that? So from there, I started. In my SS1, I represented, no, I represented in GSS3, when I was in GSS3. We went for a STEM competition like that, and I represented my school. We came to it, we built a, a mini power generating house like that. It uses uh, rotor, just like hydro power generation, where water will pass through a source. It will power the rotor, then the rotor tends to generate electricity, little basic science. I gained admission into Lagos State University. When I was another level, I got a challenge from someone. I saw a plane. No, on there was an occasion then. So they brought the governor brought a helicopter to this, to the campus. So I was like, I wish I can do this thing, and I can do it. I had to start drawing, making the design for the copter and all. So at the end of the day, I was able to build an helicopter that flies. Then it has the control was not really stable because you know fresh was doing things for the first time. So it was not stable then. So but I tried and it's it was flying. So I took it back to school. I was so proud, like I have wings on my shoulder then that I come and see what I did and I did this. Furthermore, when I when I entered 300 level, I participated in Tech V2 again. Second year, I built a road power generator. Using we use speed breakers, you know when all the speed breakers on the road, that was the mechanism we we used. Like when the when the car passes through passes on that speed breaker, it tends to dissipate a kind of kinetic energy. You know when when the car is running, when it gets to that point, it will slow down a bit. So the um, the weight of the car tends to push down the the speed bump. You can look around, you see that every speed bump at a point, you see them they start going down like. It, it is as a result of those forces. So I was like, let's use this, this avenue to, to make something. Why can't we build something here that when a car passes through, it's, we generate electricity from there. So we built a prototype on that. I called it RPG, Road Power Generator from Speed Breaker. So we took it for the competition and still we emerged first again, making that back to back. That, that got to the notice of our dean then, the dean head of campus. I started learning new things. I went into learning of programming, more of artificial intelligence and all, watching series of videos and the little things I know. And I'm, I'm kind of very, very fast when it comes to learning stuff like that. So I proceeded in learning artificial intelligence. So I went to, I was selected for a competition in Abuja, 2019, USPF change maker, where I met with a man, Mr. Murphy. So we worked together, we built a, a robot, explosive ordinary disposal robot. It helps in diffusing bombs. Instead of a, a human going there, putting on a bomb suit, risking their own life. So we built a robot that we can easily control to that bomb station, we check if it's something that we can diffuse with the robot. If it's not something that we can diffuse, we pick up the bomb and throw it to where it's going to explode without harming people in the surroundings. So we we pitched that too, and it was accepted. You know, in Nigeria, we didn't really get a, a good response from them up to tomorrow. Over the years, I've built. I built a drone, 
an helicopter, I built, I built two drones, a robot, I built uh, an automatic gate, a sensored gate. You don't have to open the other. Once you get to the gate, the, the gate will open by itself. Prototype, I mean, I built a wind turbine system too for the power generation. I built a road power generator. I built a for my final year project. I built, uh, uh, you know, 2020 we had this coronavirus issue all over. So I built a, sanit a sanitation booth where you can everything is automatic. You take your temperature, set it, you, you you take your temperature, you move to taking soap, automatic. You wash your hand with water. You dry it and you take sanitizer. All automatic. You don't have to come in contact with the tap or the, the, the soap dispenser or sanitizer dispenser, all are automatic, even the temperature sensor. That's what I did for my final year project. Yeah, doing all of this are not very easy, I must say, because you need to try, you need to check and recheck, making of mistakes, series of errors, you have to do it and do it again. If your design is wrong, you'll have to restart. We face a lot of challenges in that aspect. And also financial constraints. We need to source for money, like the, the robots I talked about. It's, it's around 600,000 naira that we use in building that. It's a huge sum of money. So for someone like me to get that kind of amount, you know, it's, it's going to be kind of sterile us, but if if you have your mind in what you want to do, anything you put your mind to, you actually do it. So I believe that's the reason, that's what has been keeping me going. And also, as I've said, fonts, we need standard laboratories to work, to make our work neat, fast and easy, little mistakes. We need machines, CNC machines, we need 3D printers and all. So those are the challenges. We have to start doing all of those things with our hands. We need to go to the workshop, use the little machine. We need to cut them. Uh, we, we, we have to do a lot of hand works on them before they can come out the way they come. But if we have good financial support, it's going to be very, very nice and very, very easy.